Okay, let's just jump into this. In my last video, I compared the LP1 to the SIG 8T. Today is the Holosun 512 and Ames comparison. These are all red dots. They're not holographic, nor are they prisms. They're all made of 70, 75 aluminum. The LP1 has a 6061 shroud, while the 512 has a titanium hood. The Holosuns are made of the finest Chinesium, while the LP1 housing is from Hong Kong, electronics and glass from Japan, and assembled in the US. They are all night vision compatible, and they all have the same warranty for original buyers only. And did you know Holosun only warranties law enforcement and military applications for three years? It's on their website. Okay, so let's get on with the comparison. Promethean LP1, 7075, weighs 12.5 ounces. Two night vision settings, six daytime, a CR123 battery provides 1.6 years on level four of eight. No solar shake awake, lower one third, with a cutie mount, $350. The Holosun AEMS, the AIMS 7075, weighs 5.6, which is half the LP1. Two night vision settings, eight daytime. Uh, CR2032 provides 2.3 years on level 6 of 12. Solar Shake Awake, lower one third with no QD, $400. And the 512, 7075 with titanium hood, 8.4 ounces. Two night vision settings, 10 daytime, same battery as the Ames, Solar Shake Awake, Absolute with no QD, $300. You can pause this if you want. Okay, where am I getting the figures for the battery life? Well, thanks to the magic of editing, Combined with extreme budget cuts. This is on their website, in the owner's manual. And you can also scan the QR code on the bottom of the unit for that manual. What do all these numbers mean? Well, aha, one years, 8,700 hours. So we look at the night vision on the left. Extreme setting on eight, where it only gets you 1.5 months to 25 days. However, like I said, sweet spot is about the four to five setting. So you're either gonna run it at the red dot or you're probably gonna run it with the ring and dot. You're not gonna run the ring unless you're shotgunning. So the very bottom of four, 1.6 years. Or if you jump to five, it's 7.8 months. And I've also done a brief video comparison to the SIG 8T and another video with the LP1 mounted on all kinds of sh junk. So I like smaller optics like the micro prism with etched reticles or like sub eight ounce optics like the T2. I would get the Ames, but just not a fan of the price or the warranty. And I just couldn't pass up the deal for the LP1 at 275, especially when you're comparing it to the price of the SIG AT. Which one's for you? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for your time. Be safe.